I don't want to set the world on And we're back. Right. Now the more observant of you will have noticed I'm not in the armory anymore. I'm outside the armory. And it is night time. Basically, since last time I ran back to where my bike was. And then instead of bringing the bike right here, as you see, I actually went back to Megaton, dropped off a ton of stuff. A ton of stuff. And in fact, even emptied quite a lot of the things out of here. Although I have a horrible suspicion now I didn't empty enough. And I am now just basically dropping off the rest of my stuff. Except... We, except one pistol, just in case something respawns. I've, I've got all my weapons here. Um, and... I don't know how much I can carry now, but that is what I did. I ran back, I ran off in that direction. There was no, nothing happened, absolutely nothing happened. You didn't miss anything. It was a boring trip through the wasteland. Picked up the bike. Let's have a look at this. Carry weight. Content, 300 at the moment, you see. I can now carry a lot more stuff. Because we have an armory to loot. Oh, God. So, anyway, yes. Oh, and whilst I was whilst I was there, I decided to have a good night's sleep. I am completely lost now. All right, how did I... It was down somewhere, wasn't it? Oh, there we go. Light. So yeah, all I've got now is this one pistol. So obviously we're going to have to do something to keep us entertained. <laughs> Here we go. It's Christmas time. Yes. Oh, there's another door. Bobblehead. Oh, small guns. Small guns. I now have 100 small guns. Or slightly more, maybe. I don't know. If, no, 100 at caps. So I now... Oh, I would show you by taking out my sniper rifle that I have no wobble. Oh, look! Pulse mines and... No, when it door. Bunker access terminal. Enter access code, which we don't have. This is the Keller family code. I need that to get in here. And there's no way of getting through this, even using explosives. Look! Oh, God, it's where to start. Pulse grenades, can't go wrong. Bull's mine still can't go wrong. What have we got here? Combat armor. A little low for me. <laughs> oh. Metal boxes. Who knows what the metal what's in metal box? Oh. What have we got? Explosives can never have enough explosives. Or ammo. Fission battery and gunpowder. I have a horrible suspicion. I'm still not going to be able to carry everything. What do you reckon? Oh. I'm going to take one of these. Oh, did I take one of those? No, that was a fire grenade. I'm going to take one because I'm going to use it to repair my existing weapons. If I can. Radiation suit? No. Boarding. Boarding. Oh. Drugs. Always good. Can't the cigarettes. More drugs. I don't think I want to even use my inventory for cartons of cigarettes, which are usually pretty good money. Oh. Just gonna systematically loot the hell out of this needler pistol. Alright, do we need do we need Boza? Oh don't think we need you know what let's let's pick one of everything up on No, that's two. I like the pistol. Uh, I'm having crosshair difficulties. Needler pistol M60 machine gun. Hello, Wakazashi. Would it rock? Would it rock? Why would I want a rock? Rock. I have to have a rock now. Wakizashi. FN Fennel got one. Got just, just ammo. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Actually, you know what? One of the things I realised when I was transferring ammo across is flares. I am no longer. As um, low on ammo as I was before. Whoa, what have we got here? Looks good. There's another one. What's this? I think I've got one. I think I've got one. I've definitely got a Bozar now. What are you? Don't want one of those, but I think I've got one of those. 
definitely got one of those. Ooh, big. Ooh, hello. No, I've got a pulse rifle. I have a pulse rifle. Mini gun. I have one of those too. Pank or jackhammer. Don't really want one of those. Come on, I want something new. I want something new. Something I've not got two of already. Some new super weapon that's going to make me squeal like a little girl. Purified water. I'm not going to make me squeal like a little girl, but definitely... Ooh, Stimpak's mine. <laughs> um, do I need a crutch? Have I got a crutch? Probably haven't. Do I need it for anything? Rope water purifier? What is it? A field grill? Your inventory contains no valid items for the Rodco model. What's it? To what? I've already taken the water purifier, haven't I? No. Okay, interesting. This is something added by uh, FWE, maybe? I have a f Wait a minute, is there? Um, let's have a... Oh... Okay, okay, instructions. Ha ha ha, nice. This is what we need. Instructions. Good grief, I've got all sorts of stuff here. Revelation 216. I am the Alpha and Omega. Raid plans. Please. Alright, here we go. Is a lightweight portable bed developed primarily for use by the armed forces when stowed? The BBX-19 rolls up into a compact package compatible in size to the current military issue sleeping bag when set up. Okay, yeah, yeah. Set up. Activate it. Lay it down flat with the rubber side down on a level even surface. Oh, so clicking it actually activates it. How do I pick the damned thing up? Take down. Extend the grounding... Grab. Uh, uh, right, okay, so I need to remember what my grab key was. No? Alright, read the instructions more carefully. Is it bad? Pressing and holding the grab key. Oh, I have to keep... I have to keep that key pressed at the same time. Ah, okay, now I'm going to go on a wild stab. Is it the same? Is the same true for this? No? Yes! Oh, there are instructions there. It was sat on some instructions. Well, I guessed it anyway. Pfft, instructions. Instructions for the week! And for everyone else. Don't, don't, it, don't, don't use me as an excuse for not reading instructions. Terrible habit. Absolutely atrocious habit. Cattle prod. It doesn't sound really, really uh, attractive. Tommy gun? Oh, we gotta get one. Molotov cocktail. Why not? Um, I think I've got enough of those. What's this? Pipe rifle. I do not think so. The grease gun. Again, not exactly, um, you know, not exactly what you think, is it? Oh, hello! <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I get this incredible urge to shoot something with it. It's just... Oh, 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 instructions. We will look at the cooking instructions later. We have a turbo plasma rifle to look at. Oh, yeah. I don't have any ammo for... Oh, that's it. Game over, really, isn't it? I mean, I just... This this game cannot go anywhere but downhill from this one moment. Look at that! <laughs> so the question is, am I supposed to, sh I don't know, shoot people with it or stab them with the damned thing? Whatever it is, I need ammo to find out. What else have we got? The... Oh, P P90. Oh, I only want one. Pulse pistol, got one. Desert Eagle, gonna take one. Maybe I can... Heal. I keep saying that. Repair stuff with it. 
Missiles. You can never have enough missiles, in my opinion. P90, what we got on this side? Assault rifles. Cameras, what the hell is all these cameras for? Ammunition, hello. Oh, missile launcher. Oh, wait a minute. The Winchester P-94 plasma rifle, which looks suspiciously similar to the big one. But the big one, well, let's face it, it wins. It, it, I don't know. Uh, oh, all right, there's no animation for it. Why have I not got any animation for aimed? Aimed animation's not working for this. This is going to be... Um, Eve or something like that. I don't have an aimed animation like that. Which is annoying. So, for example, M60. Do I, I don't think I've got an aimed animation. Yeah, like that. Oh. Oh. Oh, it does look nice, doesn't it? And the condition of all of these weapons looks like it's 100, so I can drop the, the duplicates. Which is good because. Oh my god, look at this. Advanced Recon Breather! Mark II! The Mark IIs don't have the heads. I will show you those. Advanced recon and armor. Oh, wow. This is all my stuff. It's all the stuff I made. Oh. Oh, okay. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Well lit place, isn't it? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's have a look. First of all, weapons. What? Tommy gun. Uh, interesting, but not really, um... Uh, that's the damage like that. Damage 260, that's not bad, actually, is it? Small guns, 18, which, um... 45s. Turbo plasma rifle, what's this? Energy weapon, so I need the energy weapon skills for this. This is where the energy weapon skill sort of beats the guns ones, because you take energy weapons and you can have big guns or small guns. So I'm going to need to increase my energy weapons as well. Oh, I guess that's what my tag skill is going to be then. Alright. Let's just have a look at everything. Can I can I use this to repair? Not yet. I need a repair desk. Bozar! Which uses 30... I've got a few of these at home as well, these rounds. And it's big gun. 45 per damage. Duper. Oh. Haven't I had one of these before? Oh, no. You know what this is? This is your anti-material rifle type thing. Now, the only thing is, is the damage currently does not look good on it. When compared to a sniper rifle. Is that because my big gun skills is not good? Or is that because FWE messed up? Because to, to my mind, this thing should do more damage than a sniper rifle. Or am I, or am I totally out of line? Is it some gun expert going to go, absolutely not. No, no, no. The sniper rifle should do more. Because this just looks like it should not just blow your head off, but take your entire torso with it. What else have we got? P90... It, it's just... Well, actually, it's kind of cool looking. But it, it it's just not with this armor, is it? <laughs> it's back to Will's small gun days. Flares. What, what the hell? Oh, okay. The... Is it H&K, Hector and Cock? I don't know. Small guns, 21. Uses the 47 millimeter rounds. I'm just not a big lover of the way this thing looks. And the E? What, what, what's the difference? Oh, bigger scope. Gotta, I mean, is it, what is it? Is it a, is it a assault rifle? A somehow cropped sniper rifle? Is this, yeah. Good damage. Oh, no, low damage per shot, though. This, I believe, is is another one of the big, like, sniper rifle type things, but big gun. 
Or an assault rifle, but big guns. I think it's a big gun. Is that a big gun? I don't mean, is it a big gun, but is it a gun that uses the big guns skill? Answer, yes. So this is, I don't know, I think I prefer that. <laughs> well, let's have a look, let's have a look. Oh, that just beats it hands down every single which way, doesn't it? Um, and it uses seven, the 762 bullets, which I believe are, are, are better than the, uh, the 556, but we'll have to see. Needle a pistol. Which we don't have needles for, which is unfortunate. Um, six shots per second. It does quite a lot of damage. Just, I have a feeling. Um, oops. Oh, there's no, there's no uh, aimed animation for it, which is unfortunate. Oh, my, I think I don't get any aimed animation for anything that doesn't have an iron sight, which is probably something to do with hard and iron sights or. M me having installed it incorrectly. Now this, I think this laser pistol looks nice. Look how bad my energy weapons is. Look at that. Look at look at the wobble on my hand. Now compare it to my small gun. <laughs> right. And laser rifle. I think this looks goofy. Oh! I really have messed up the RN. RN. The iron sights I have indeed. Okay, really well and truly muffed it. And this is... Is that me or does that seem to... Again, it takes up too much of the screen, doesn't it? Look at that. It's a big gun assault rifle, is it? I think I've got one of these back home. So I think I'm going to drop it. I'm definitely going to drop the laser rifle. Oh no, you know what? Laser rifle, I can use those for bullets and stuff from the uh, outcasts, can't I? I should always think of that. Right, what about armor? Oh dear. Look, right, here we go. The advanced recon armor. Actually, it kind of works with the heavy helmet, but let's take that off. This is it. This. The advanced recon armor. My first ever mod, this. Oh, basically, this was... I really thought the recon armor looked terrible and was useless for stealth armor. Um, and so I added a stealth field. But the stealth field only stays up when you are stationary. It's very strong. You, you, you're borderline invisible as long as you don't move. But as soon as you move... Uh, oh, and also it breaks if you um, take your weapon out. Because it's got a, the, the the logic behind this is it's got a very tight and easily collapsed feel, so you have to stay very very stationary and not have a weapon out because it breaks up the uh, the, the field. Shut up! Um, <laughs> it's just a way to make it more difficult. Um, I made this before the any of the DLCs came out, so this was before the Chinese stealth armor. The Chinese stealth armor, the stealth field stays on the whole time, which to me is just meh, way overpowered. All right, let's have a look. Um, and then there's the slightly swisher texture version, made to look like it's modern materials, but I, I like the worn, rough one. And then, wow, this was my favourite armour for ages, because I liked the duster look, but I liked the armour, and, and of course it still had the whole stealth field, and I made a black one. And of course, there's a uh, there's trench coat one. Where's the black ops coat? I like the black ops one. <laughs> but still, it's all light armor. It's good light armor. It's like end game light armor, but it's still light armor. And of course, there was the helmet. Where's the helmet? Where's the helmet? I'm. You're gonna have to forgive me. I'm having a bit of a blast from the past. Yeah. <laughs> Down memory lane. Oh, uh, but for me, the armor's not the interesting thing here, or the helmet, because I'm still going to use um, Will's power. So unless Will manages to find a way of making his power armor have the advanced recon stealth field, I have a feeling we're sticking to power armor, because otherwise he's dead. Um, but the Breather Mark II is a bit different to the Breather Mark I. Of course, Will does not need that anymore, because he's got the Powered Armor Helmet, but the Mark II, the 
the mark. Oh, there's clipping. Will's got a fat face. I'm going to have to fix that. I am going to have to fix that. Because Will's got a big fat face. Look at that. His chin comes through. So this is the Mark II of the night vision. And instead of having a head strap, it has a sort of neck brace. So it leaves your hair completely untouched. You know, if you care about that sort of thing. And therefore, I think it will look a little neater with... Yes! <laughs> that looks better, doesn't it? Of course it does. It's still got all the functionality. There you go. All right. I know. I've spent way too much time looking at things and going ooh and ah and... Uh, come on. It's Christmas here. Right. Now I'm going to take some stuff just for selling. And energy weapons are probably the prime thing because I can give those to... The outcasts. Needle pistol, no, no, no. Machine gun. Right, pulse rifle. Oh! Look at that! How how awesomely well... Uh, well, I'm not dropping any of this. And I'm not... No, I'm keeping. I don't need the rock, of course. I need to lose seven. So what is it? I really don't need. I don't need the Desert Eagle. I really don't, do I? Everything else I'm keeping because I don't know if I've got... I'm pretty sure I don't. I'm pretty sure I've got one of those, actually. So you know what? I'm dropping that. There you go. Machine gun. Right, let's get back to the bike. Mind you, you know what? There's a lot less here than I thought. I thought I was going to have to make a couple of trips, fill the bike up, and then fill myself up. That came out wrong. Still, got a nice energy weapon. A lot of ammo. Still good. Alright, so I've got all the stuff transferred into my bike. I've got the weapons I need on my back. I'm having to stick with the weapons I came here with, actually, because I don't have rounds for, like, the M60, and I don't have the skill for the energy weapons. So, right, what we're going to do... What we're going to do is find that enclave outpost and kill everybody. <laughs> right. What I was going to say is we're going to head in the nor north direction anyway. So it's in the right way. We're going to go to Vault 108. Continuing our search for things that will help us make life very unpleasant for the enclave. Um, I could take my bike for the Corvega factory, but I want to sweep the land. For the very reason that there may be enclave out there who need to be shot, viciously full of holes. Um, and, um, yeah. Let's see if we can uh, sneak up on them. I know I'm not the world, world's greatest sneaker. But who are you? You're a raider. And apparently I'm... Nope, I'm that one I missed. But... Okay. Let's just pretend the first two shots were to distract her so she'd turn around so I could shoot. Head in the back of the head. Head. Alright. So we've got raiders this side. Raiders this side. Enclave that side. We don't want to make the same mistakes we've been making in the past and get attacked from behind whilst taking out the enclave, do we? No, we do not. I know. I'm not very good at sneaking, but at this distance, sneaking is actually useful. Believe it or not. The further you are away, 
the easier it is to sneak for obvious reasons. So even in power armor with low skill, you can sneak to some degree. And although once I start firing, it's usually a waste of time, it does allow me to get the lay of the land before I go stomping in there and get myself horribly, viciously killed again. Alright. Enclave. So they've put big posters up saying, hey, we're awesome. No, really? Ah, oh, thank you. Oh. Yeah, whatever happens to getting the lay of the line land before engaging the enemy. Yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> I saw the Enclave and couldn't help it. She had shoot me written all over her. Who are you? You're with the Enclave. Which means you're dead. Oh, that's power armor. Am I actually even hitting him? Nope, answer. Simple enough. Ah, oh, I'm not going to hit him, am I? What do you think? Never going to make that shot. I need to get the sniper perk. Or I need to stop trying to make shots like that from this distance. <laughs> oh, I hit him though. No, no, I did, I hit him. Let's stick with the silenced attack until we take the weaker enemies out. I'm really... For some reason, that is allowing me to hit. Am I aiming too low? Have I got bullet drop? It's not that far. Wait. Did I see an enclave person run in that direction? Are they trying to flank me? See, because so far, they've had people getting shot. But they won't know where the bullet... Well... It's not really true, is it? They'll know where the bullets are. Anyone with half an ounce of sense is going to figure out that they're, you know... Blood f splattering out in one direction. Shooter in opposite direction. Magic bullet theories aside, generally speaking... Oh, what was that? So where are you? I am sure I saw one of them sneaking off. Yes, I did. Hello. What if you... Ooh, nice. Flamethrower. Oh, wow. Headshot with a sniper rifle did not kill him. Uh-oh. Oh! He don't! Right, where are your friends? Where are your friends? They've got to know I'm here now. Or did I shoot them all? Are you the only power armoured one? That's not going to be true, is it? There's no way. Come on, where are your friends? I don't like going straight on. There's just a tree for cover. Right, we had an officer, a scientist. Fire starter and a robot. Every encounter I've had with Enclave so far has involved slightly more difficulty than that. So I am not. I don't see a death claw inside there. Which could mean there's a death claw outside somewhere. Which, of course, is something to be worried about. Coca-Cola. Nice. I'll take that power armor off you. Thank you very much. And a laser pistol. I will get bullets for that. See how this works? I use bullets to put holes in you, take your gear, 
and converted into more bullets to put holes in more of your people. The circle of life. Well, the circle of death, I guess, in this particular case, but uh, there you go. The important thing, not my death. Was that it? Really? Seriously? Alright, let's not get... What's up there? I've been up there. What, what is up there? That's the extreme edge of the map. I don't think it's going to let me get there. That's what I'm thinking, which is a shame because it looks interesting. Enclave hat. No, thank you. Finger noodle noodles. Oh, maybe. No, had that one. Plasma pistol, though. Scientist outfit? Nah, uh, you look a little goofy, I'm afraid. Says the man in bright blue power armor. There you go! <laughs> okay. Oh! Morphine. More morphine. Wasteland. What were you doing to the wastelander, you sickos? Sorry, wastelanders. How'd you... And how did you make them float like that? The Enclave, they have a gravity gun. So, wait. I'm going to, you know... Is it going to let me go over there? It's not going to let me go over there, is it? I'm like off the map now. Really? I can go off the map? I don't know how many times I've played this game. But I have a feeling this is the first time I have knowingly gone off the map. Not including DLC. I'm sure I've accidentally strayed off it then. If it's possible. And I have a feeling there is a limit. Although, I don't know. I mean, this would be a great place to make a modded a anything, really. It's completely and utterly empty, isn't it? All right, let's get back on the beaten track. Because I don't want to accidentally leave some enclave behind me. Partly because I'd like them all to be dead, and partly because I don't want them all behind me. For obvious reasons, that has not been a good working plan so far. Just, I just love the desolate. Uh, that sounds sick, but you know what I mean. I just love the desolate look of this wasteland. Right, let's go back to being a bit more careful. Where were the enclave? There. And I'm going to be heading north, which is... Oh. I think I want to be more in that direction, but I kind of would like to see what's through town. Alright, so, we're on our way again. Is there a road I can follow? Do you think? All right. 
Right, I think I'm getting close to the area where I got ambushed by Tal. Wow. Oh, clipping with the floor, though. Oh, now that's a screenshot moment and a half, isn't it? Look at that. Pretty damn cool. So, yeah, he says, talking about how he's getting ambushed by the Enclave and then standing up to take photographs. Well, not take photographs. But you know what I mean. should stop being silly. Because anywhere around here we could have... Right, there's the Corvega factory. That's where I ran to. I have a feeling it was around this area, so let's really... Take my big pistol. If I see power armor, I'm putting large bullets into said power armor. Ah, right. uh, here we go. Yep. Talon Company. Did I? Yes, I did. I must have looted you because you don't have a finger left. Unless they killed you, because of course, if they kill you, I don't get the finger. Alright. Something over there is throwing bodies half a mile away. Oh, wait. Yeah, no. This is, yes. <sighs> Paladin Cross. I wish I could sort of... I don't know. Build a memorial. I wish I could close her eyes, to be honest. Anyway. No sign of the Enclave anymore. Must have been a random wandering patrol. Same with the Talon Company. They don't seem to have a base. And I need to go northeast. Yes, straight ahead. Vault 108. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Don't look, don't look. Bethesda, dear, oh dear. So. New territory? Whenever I get this far away from any civilization, I start wondering whether I'm going to start running into things like death claws. I'm also wondering whether now that my system is literally running ultra without even twitching, because I'm recording my hardware, can I extend the distance terrain even beyond Ultra? U grids, etc. I probably can. Oh god, because I need to. Look at look at that. Look at that. Really? Seriously? <laughs> oh, oh dear. Dear oh dear. It's like it's been painted on the fake sky, doesn't it? It's such a shame, you know, you have a. Oh, you know the other thing. I'm using death claw. Oh. I'm using the NMM textures, but I'm using one of the light versions, and I'm wondering whether I should upgrade to the higher definition versions because I've now got a graphics card that can do it. The only thing is, is I question how much use those high definition textures are. Has he spotted me? Because he looks like he's coming my way. Well, not anymore. Oh no, it was... I'm not even going to say where I shot him. Hmm. Yeah, I question how much benefit you get when using 1080p resolution as opposed to sort of like, you know, 2,500 across resolution. But especially when recording, because of course I record and then everything gets slightly lower quality anyway, doesn't it? 
Is that a talent? That's a talent company one. And, um... Is that the entrance <coughs> of the vault? Could be, couldn't it? So yeah, I, uh, when, you, when you sort of turn everything into a movie, you lose some quality anyway, so you probably wouldn't notice any difference on the video. And honestly, for me, oh, I'm thirsty. Honestly, for me, textures are less of a problem. I don't notice them as much as I notice other things from a visual point of view. Purified water, perhaps. And noodles. Thank you, Enclave, for the snack. Let's hope you didn't poison it. Um, so, for example, the distant terrain being absolutely appalling is so much worse for me than, say, the rocks being slightly higher definition. But for ex so, for example, if I get close to this rock, I can imagine that now that we're staring at it, you guys wish it was high definition. So maybe I will anyway. All right. Vault 108. All right. Wonder if they'll be pleased to see me. A nice thriving commute. Well, that's not exactly encouraging, is it? I don't want to set the world on fire. 